What is up? I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com. Today I have something that's pretty cool to show you. Um, I've showed you how to do this before, but today I'm going to show you something new that you can do with it. So, um, I've showed you how to add the uh, emoticons to your keyboard. So let me show you that again if you haven't seen the video. You're going to go to Settings, then you're going to General, and then you're going to go down to Keyboard, which is right here. And you're going to hit International Keyboards, Add New Keyboard, and you're going to just go to Emoji. And where are you? Right there. And there you go. It's going to be added to your keyboard. And now when you go to Text People, um, you have this little world here. And you tap that. And it should have... There we go. Click here and you have all your emojis. So there you go. And you can type those. They only work for uh, iPhones though. So, you know, be warned. And you can scroll through. There's a lot of different things you can see. But let me show you something else you can do here. Go back to settings. You're going to go to shortcuts. And you can add a new shortcut. So hit add new shortcut. And let's say you wanted to say a smiley. But every time you sent a smiley, you wanted it to change to the emoji. You would type in what the phrase would be, and then you could just go to the emoticon over here. And you could put the smiley guy in there. And you could save that. And so now every time you typed the smiley in, you'd get the emoticon smiley, which is pretty cool, I think. You could do this with any of them. You could do, you know, sad faces. You could do, there's a lot of different things. You could do hearts. You could do broken hearts. I mean, it depends on who you're texting, I guess. Uh, so there you go. I mean, you could, using the shortcut, you can save a lot of time switching to emoticons because you're probably not going to use that many emoticons. You're probably going to use, like, ten. And if you meant a shortcut for them all, you could just do that. So I'm Daniel from today's iPhone.com. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you have to be running iOS 5 to use this. So there you go. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash tip underscore Daniel. I hope you guys have a great day.